Hey guys, so we start with a blue semicircle and then inside of there we draw two red semicircles. These two semicircles can be any size that we want. It's arbitrary where we put them. I like it right here. And I want to drop a line right here with a length of two. My question is, what is the blue area? Let's call the radius of the smaller semicircle r sub one and the radius of the larger red semicircle r sub two. And these right here will also be r sub one and r sub two. Next, let's connect these chords inside of here. We have now created three triangles. Let me show you. We have this green one here and let's call the hypotenuse of it A and we can bring it down and we'll copy down the A. This side right here is going to be equal to two and this bottom has two of these r sub one so we'll call it two r sub one. Now we have another triangle we just created. Let's call this side B and let's bring it down and it's made up of side lengths B, two and two r sub two. We have one more big triangle. Let's bring it all the way down and it's made up of A on the left, E on the right and then two r sub one plus two r sub two on the bottom here. All three of these are right triangles so we can use Pythagorean theorem. First one's going to be like this. Leg squared plus the leg squared equals the hypotenuse squared. Same thing here. Leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. And same thing here. Leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. So these three equations came from these three triangles. Let's get rid of the triangles. This squared can distribute to both terms. So we end up with four r sub one squared and then two squared is four. This two also distributes to both terms. So we end up with four r sub two squared and two squared is still four. So we have an a squared right here and an a squared right here. I'm going to substitute this stuff in for the first a squared. So I literally just plug this in down here. Same thing, we have a b squared here and a b squared here. I'm going to plug this in for b squared and I'm just going to bring this stuff down. So to clean up the left hand side, I'm going to add four plus four to get eight. Now on the right hand side, in order to square this parentheses, we need to do the parentheses times itself. This left side represents this parentheses and the top represents this parentheses. So two times two is four and then r1 times r1 is r1 squared. For this one here, two times two is four and then r1 times r2 is r1 r2. Same thing here, two times two gives us four and then r1 times r2 is r1 r2. And for this one, two times two is four and then r2 times r2 is four r2 squared. So then we just copy this four terms down. We have four r1 r2s and another four r1 r2s, which means we end up with eight r1 r2s. So we have now squared this parentheses. And we can get rid of all this work. Let's bring this stuff down. And then this is equal to, in the place of this here, I'm gonna plug in this right here because we showed they're equal to each other. Let's get rid of this. We're gonna subtract the common stuff from both sides. So on the left hand side, we're left with just eight. And on the right hand side, we have eight r1 r2. If we divide both sides by eight, on the left hand side, we get one. And on the right hand side, we get r1 r2. We can scoot this over and we get one equals r1 times r2. This is important, so let's put a box around it. Let's clean up all this work and bring this up. In order to find the blue area, we need to do the big semicircle. So I'll call that big minus the two smaller semicircles. So I'll just say minus small minus small. So the area of the big semicircle is going to be pi r squared, where r is equal to r1 plus r2. If you don't see that the radius is r1 plus r2, you can imagine this diameter is 2r1 plus 2r2. In order to get the radius, we just divide everything by 2, which would just be r1, r2. So that's why the radius of the big one is just r1 plus r2. Then to do this small semicircle here, we can just see that the radius is r1, so it's just minus pi r1 squared divided by 2. And then for the other red circle, this radius is going to be r sub 2, so we just write it like this. So we have another square right here. We can do the same thing we did before. r1 times r1 is just r1 squared. r1 times r2 is r1, r2. r1 times r2 is r1, r2. And r2 times r2 is r2 squared. We can bring out the four terms. These guys match, so we can say we have two of them. And this is the same thing as this. So then we still have this pi over two here, so we can bring those down. And let's bring down these two things we're subtracting. Let's clean this stuff up. The pi distributes to all three of these terms and we'll make three separate fractions. Then we can bring down these two fractions here. These two match and these two match, so they're gonna cancel each other out, which gives us this right here. And all this calculation we're doing was equal to the blue area. These twos right here cancel each other out. R1 times R2 is equal to one, so we can plug in one for that. And now we just have pi times one, which is just pi. So the blue area is equal to pi. And we can put a box around that. You guys are awesome. I'll talk to you soon.